<laughs> Hi everybody, this is Faye with This Is How You Do It. And I'm showing my hair. I'm pressing it. And I got a little piece right here that I'm finna press now. I don't have any oil on it. I got this thing that I'm putting the oil in because I have my nails on. So I'm just reasing my scalp. That's what I'm doing. But I'm not, I'm not actually putting my um, nails in it. Then I'm going to rub around the, the root of it. Rub this all around there. And rub under here. And then I'm going to put some on my hand like this. And do it like this. And then rub it on my hair. I'm pressing my hair. This part has been blowed out to give it a a good press. And I'm using this. I have to go over my hair maybe four times to get it to the press that I wanted. And I'm tucking it under so my hair will be curled when I get through pressing it. Now, I'm not through with that yet, so I'm trying to keep that from laying on the other hair. I let this cool for a few minutes. And then I go back over it. A few seconds, I guess, not minutes. And I go back over it. Turn it. I'm not through with it. And then I let it hang on top of the rest of the hair. Okay. And here goes again. I'm making sure the root get straight too. That's why I hold it there for a little while. Look in the mirror, see can I see it? It's a little puffy right in that area. So I'm gonna go over it again. So oh Val, you doing that too much. Well I've learned if I don't go over mine's like that within a few minutes my hair will be puffy again it'll revert back I mean as soon as I get off with this and move around a little bit it will have revert, revert, reverted back to its, nat its uh, natural state you know, to get really, 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 really puffy. So that's what I'm trying to avoid now. And now I just rake that part on there, on, on the part that's been curled. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. I've done one side of my hair. Just one side. Like half. I got just a little piece more to go right here here I was going to split that in two but I guess I can go ahead on and um, it's just been four minutes um, do this piece right here I said my gray hair is coming back so I'm not going to worry about that much anyway what I'm going to do I'm going to spray some black spray on a brush like a toothbrush and just brush that part right there that's going to be showing because all of it is not going to be showing it's probably just going to be from here that up it's going to be showing because I'm going to cover that part up and then you just have long black hair hanging down like that that's movable too I'm going to cut this off after I do this and splice it together so you can see the finished product and 
then you can see how my hair looks after a straining. This is four year growth from becoming natural. My hair ends did break off some when I call myself just coloring my ends. But you can just chalk that up to maybe she got a trim and within those four years. This is not ready to be turned loose on top of the rest of it, see? It's, it's actually still puffy. See? And I do have one of these towels to close my right thing into. You know how you're supposed to like rub your your white your hot comb to try to cool it off and plus clean the excess oil off of it. And plus I'm squeezing this too. There is some of my subscribers said they would like to see my hair straighten. But you know my, my hair is um in its natural state and I have my curls, they end up stopping about right there on my face once it dries. And this right here is tough thunder, so that's the way it's falling like there. But I don't want to pull my tuck from under there because I want it to stay tucked. Now, I'm going to uh, touch this right now. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so at this time. And then I'll show you your, the finished look. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Val with This Is How You Do It again. And um, I'm sure you already know who it is because I'm putting this part of the video on the ends of me starting to straighten my hair. Well, this is the finished straightening I haven't combed it all the way yet but this part looked like it wanted to start back with burden back before I even got started good but here you here we go here I'm gonna run a comb through it I kind of pull down too far on on that because I'm gonna keep the tuck. See that almost look like it done reverted back already. Mhm. Mm cover this part up. That's what I want to do.
that part what I told you about right there. Now, when I told you that I was going to spray it, I was talking about this. I got this at the hair store. It's black. Now, you get my toothbrush, which is this. I've used it before. I'm going to take it and set the toothbrush in the cap like this. And then spray it. And then it'll get on the brush. And then it won't get on nothing else. Just little pats, taps like spray. And that is on the brush now. And then I take this part right here. And cover that gray. Now that brush is still dry, so I'm going to have to get it wet. It's just not doing like I want. I ain't shook it up. Okay, let's, let's shake it up. Yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't shook up because it didn't even change the toothbrush teeth color in. Now, there you go. You got to shake that stuff up. Now, see? Cover that up. That way I won't have to do the whole hair. And the parts between the rest of the scalp don't really have to be showed. But that's but this right here is covered. See? And all this is done, and then you then people can't tell that you haven't got your hair colored yet. Now here's this one, do this up here. Cause it ain't time. It ain't grown out enough for me to color color it. I needed to grow out some more before I waste uh, waste up waste it on a touch up. I don't even worry about touch ups. I just go and do the whole root. I want mine to grow out from here. It's about to right there before I put color in it. And now the color is okay. And that's all I'm going to do to that for as the color is concerned. Now, I had got a brush. Shoot, I forgot to bring it in. Here it is. I didn't forget. See the brush? It's going to flatten it a little bit. Yeah, that them puffed up the ends. I have to see what the back look like. I may have to redo the whole thing. But as you can see, my pictures in the background is getting back the way I used to look. But this is my natural hair. That was not my natural hair. Those were tracks. Weave. But I was a pro at it, you know, for us how to wear it. But I'm so glad my hair, my natural hair is grown to this point that I don't have to have weave anymore, y'all. I ain't I ain't think I would ever be able to say that. I showed y'all this one close up before. See? That's weave, and I got my hair combed into it. That may be a wig because you see the front of it. I combed my hair into a body wave. See? This is my natural hair. All I really have to do is, is, is curl this, which I probably will do because this is straight straightening. So, and I do have my rods here that I may straighten it. I mean, curl it, sleep overnight, and have it curl, and then wake up and comb it. And then it'll be like a body wave like this. And plus, I have. Oh, I just dropped it. It's going to show it to you. Let me get, get another one. I got these curlers too. 
So we'll see how it turns out. I don't know I'm gonna straighten my hair. That's why I'm going through all the hoopla talking about it. But cause it's almost Easter, y'all. In another week or week or so, it'll be Easter Sunday. <laughs> and how what we do? We get our hair straightened for Easter. <laughs> and this veil. But this is how you do it. Don't you forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to all you beautiful people on my next video. I will see how this looks in the back when I get through with it. Because it's been tucked up under here. And I'm starting to perspire a little bit. So, who knows, honey? Who knows? <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Hit that button. Bye-bye now.